morning everyone i would like to start with a quote that if you are not willing to learn no one can help you but if you are determined to learn there is no one who can stop you okay so our class includes the topic bases physical and chemical properties of bases now before going into the bases i would like to recall what we have learned in the last class what we have learned is about indicators assets classification of assets and properties of assets okay go through my last video and check out the properties of asset these are the chemical properties okay and there were the physical properties then there was classification the link is there in the description box okay so today i'm going to start with the base bases are bitter in taste they turn red litmus to blue and when dissolved in water they release oh minus ions in the case of acids they release h plus ion or hydronium ion but in the case of bases they release oh minus ion for example koh and nh now there are some bases which are soluble in water without any chemical reaction they are known as alkali they are known as alkalies okay like you have seen the first and second group sodium hydroxide is from the first group calcium hydroxide is from the second group okay now classification of bases strong base a base which completely ionizes in water and produces a large amount of hydroxide ion is called a strong base weak base a base which is partially ionized in water and thus produces a small amount of hydroxide ion okay okay uh, these classifications are on the basis of their strength these classification are on the basis of their strength strength strong base and weak base strong base which is completely ionized which is completely dissociated when dissolved in water and produces a large amount of hydroxide ion weak which is partially ionized okay now see in the beaker in the two cases in the first let us see the first beaker okay in this beaker what is happening there are two partitions one include unionized part also and other include ionized part which minus are separated from the b plus which means a large number of which minus ions are on the right hand side so it is representing the strong base and the left hand side represent the weak base now in the second picture you can see i have made a dilute and concentrated in the last class what we have learned about dilute and concentrated was if the amount of acid content is less and the amount of water is more than it is dilute in the same way when the amount of base is less but the amount of water is more it is dilute amount of base is more concentrate amount of base is less dilute now we have properties of acid first we have the physical properties okay physical properties they have bitter taste they feel soapy to touch it turn red litmus blue see now this is a red litmus strip it is dipped into a solution and it turns into blue color next is base conduct acid electricity in solution and releases oh minus ions in aqueous solution like you have seen there are ions in the case of acids we have also seen there were ions and they were conducting electricity so if the ions are there they will conduct electricity now moving to the next topic chemical properties reaction of base with metal when a base react with metal it produces hydrogen gas and metal salt okay base plus metal gives out metal salt plus hydrogen gas this is an example sodium hydroxide plus zinc gives out sodium zincate plus hydrogen gas and the test for hydrogen gas was it burns with a pop sound okay now reaction of base with oxides of non metals non metal oxide plus base gives out salt plus water like in the case of uh, acid metal oxide plus acids gives out salt and water sodium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide 
gives out sodium carbonate plus water. Non metal oxides are generally acidic in nature, okay, like carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide. Next is reaction of acid with bases. This is we have also learned in the case of acids that reaction of bases with acid gives out a neutralization reaction in which salt and water are produced. It is highly exothermic. Okay, so that's it for the physical and chemical properties. Now we are having some uses of bases. Sodium hydroxide is used in the manufacture of soap, calcium hydroxide in the manufacture of bleaching powder, magnesium hydroxide is used as an antacid, sodium carbonate is used as a washing soda. Calcium powder, the bleaching powder, you will study it later in part of the chapter. Sodium carbonate also, sodium bicarbonate also. Okay, we will study in more detail about the preparation and properties of bleaching powder, common salt, sodium hydroxide, sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate in the later part of the chapter. Now, very important topic, importance of pH in everyday life. Like what we have learned in about the pH, that there was a scale ranging from 0 to 14 value. I'm just taking you to the first page. Okay. Uh, this was our pH scale. It is giving me the color ranging from red to blue, depending upon the strength, depending upon the strength. See, 0 to, 6, 0 to 7, below 7 is going to give me the acidic medium, above 7, basic medium, at 7 it is going to give the neutral medium. Okay, now coming back to the importance of pH in daily life. See, these yellow color strips are the pH paper strip which when dipped into the solution gives the corresponding color to this chart. Okay, so when these strips are dipped into the solution, they are going to give me the respective color and I can determine what type of medium it is. Strongly acidic, weak acidic, neutral, strongly basic, strongly alkaline or weak base. Okay, now pH in our digestive system. Stomach produces hydrochloric acid as you all have studied in biology that uh, in the digestive system our stomach produces concentrated hydrochloric acid which is having a pH of around 2. Now what happens when there is an excess of acid it causes acidity or irritation. So what one will do to cure that acidity or excess of acid it will intake he will intake base so that neutralization reaction can take place. So, bases are taken to get rid of excess acid. They are known as anti-acid. They are known as anti-acid. Anti-acid opposite to acid, which means they are basic in nature. Magnesium hydroxide. Okay. Now, pH as a cause of tooth decay. pH as a cause of tooth decay. As you can see, the bacteria present in our mouth convert the sugar into acids. When pH falls below 5.5, tooth decay starts. So it is advised to use the kind of toothpaste which is alkaline in nature. Okay. Now, see this note box. When a honeybee stinks a person, it injects an acidic liquid. When a honeybee stinks, it injects an acidic liquid. Then it is advised to rub that portion with the baking soda because the extra acid which is injected by the honey bee is being cured by the help of baking soda. On the other hand, when a wasp stinks, it injects an alkaline. So rubbing in vinegar will neutralize the effect of the alkaline liquid. Okay. Next is plants and animals are sensitive to pH change. Plant requires specific pH range for their healthy growth. Like all you have learned, all you have heard, maybe that there is an acidity test for soil. There is an acidity soil test for soil. If the soil is too acidic, then it is treated with quick lime or slaked lime. If it is too acidic, then it will not lead into the growth of any of the plant. Okay, so to neutralize it, we add quick lime or slaked lime. Okay, then its basicity is neutralized. If the 
soil is too basic then it will it can be reduced by adding decaying organic matter okay so the best ph range for the plant's growth is from ph 5.5 to 7 okay so that's it for today in the next class we will learn about salts now what we have learned is about classification of bases properties physical and chemical uses of bases and importance of ph please go through the ncrt and go through the previous videos if you haven't watched it okay that's it for today thank you